Here are the three basics of using audio cues to track your opponents. Presented by Fortnite Master. One of our most common tips across all of our guides is to use audio cues to figure out your enemy's position so you can place your crosshair properly and get the jump on them if they push you. We've come up with this short video detailing exactly how audio cues in Fortnite work, along with providing you some tips on how to use them properly. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. For consistency, we'll be using these audio settings for this video. You want to adjust your sound effects volume to be high enough for footsteps to be noticeable, but not so high that gunshots are deafening. The rest of the settings don't really matter and are up to you. For the rest of this video, you may want to turn up your sound to really hear what the audio cues sound like. The first thing to know about audio in Fortnite is that you can hear a person moving when they're within a six tile distance of you. Watch, but more importantly, listen. Notice that the volume of their footsteps increases as they get closer to you and decreases as they run further away. A person's footsteps sound different based on the material they walk on. Most footsteps should sound similar to the three basic materials you can build with. Sounds should always come from where they're being created. If someone's running or jumping to your left, it means you should hear them running or jumping from your left. Something you can do is replay this section, close your eyes, and focus on the audio, and try to visualize where the sound is coming from. When it comes to audio cues, using footsteps is the most reliable way to know exactly where the enemy is. Although gunshots can tell you which direction someone is shooting from, the distance is much less intuitive compared to footsteps due to how loud the audio is. If you scroll back a bit to the previous section, you'll be able to listen to the difference between using footsteps and gunshots. Footsteps tend to have less subtle changes in volume, making them a bit more reliable. Audio cues get a little more complicated when you take into account going up and down. In general, it's a lot harder to track people when they're above or below you, but it's not impossible. Here are some things you need to know. One of the good things is that the hearing distance for footsteps is still the same. You should be able to hear movement six tiles above or below you. However, there are significant differences between what you hear when looking forward and looking in the direction the sound is coming from. Here's what someone running down and upstairs below sounds like when you're facing forward. You'll notice that it's pretty easy to determine which direction the enemy is underneath you, but it's not so easy to tell how far down they've gone. This is what it sounds like when you're facing in the direction of the footsteps. In contrast to the last clip, you'll notice that it's not as clear where below you the enemy is, but it's a lot clearer as to how far below you they are. The last thing you need to know is that it is virtually impossible to tell if someone is firing a weapon above you or below you.
If you listen closely, you might be able to hear slight differences in terms of where to the front, left, right, or back they might be, but there's really no difference in sound when the player is above or below. Also, if you track back to earlier in our video where we show the gunshot sounds, you'll realize that there's little to no difference in volume, despite the weapon being fired much farther away in this particular clip. These reasons combined are the reason that footsteps are the best audio cue to focus on to figure out where nearby enemies are. All in all, using audio cues is something that's a lot simpler than it seems. You shouldn't have to actively think too hard about where someone is based on their footsteps, but it does take a little bit of practice. It does get a little more difficult based on how many enemies there are, which is why it's hard to consistently win drops like Tilted Towers. However, if you master this skill, you should be able to know the general location and number of nearby enemies, allowing you to line up your shot even before they appear on your screen. Thank you guys for watching this video. For those who are new to the channel, if you've enjoyed this video, check out some of the others on the right side of the screen. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications for whenever a new guide shows up. We have grown tremendously in the last few months and couldn't have done it without all of our supporters. Thank you again so much and doubly so if you shared it with anyone else like your friends, family, or your pets. You guys are great and we hope to keep making videos that you all like. From over here at Fortnite Master, my name is The Saved One and we're out. Peace.